up guys? Lowe's Car 5.0. In this video I'm going to be showing some mods I'm going to do to the under hood of the car that will completely change how the engine bay looks like. So let's get into those parts. Alright so first of all I have this Gates green belt. It's a heavy duty belt. The exact same size as my car has right now. So I'm going to put this. I've heard good things about these belts for these cars so uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that on. That will be this CDC hood strut kit. So I can get rid of that horrible rod prop on the hood because, because not only will it look better, but because of this. I have before me a Harple Autofab radiator cover. And this is not your typical radiator cover that just says Terminator. So let's check this one out. I already kind of looked at it just to inspect it. All right, I got the bubble wrap taken off. Let's take a look. Ooh, look at this. It'll go perfect with my Torch Red Cobra. And I wanted something different, something like, something different from the rest. You know, the others just say Terminator on the top. But this one definitely will stand out and be different from the others. So let's uh, put these bad boys on the car. All right, so easy enough using my breaker bar with a 3 8 inch insert. Put it right there on the tensioner, pulled it down clockwise, which allows to relieve the tension from the ten tensioner, and I can just slip off the belt. So I got the old one off, fixing to put on the new one. So we got the new belt on, checked for uh, proper fitment, went on good, it took only like five minutes. So now we move on to the next thing. On to the hood struts, CDC, came with some pretty easy installation instructions. So these are the parts, here's the hood struts. And then I have my hood brackets. And then the smaller brackets that go onto the fenders. Pretty straightforward. I'm gonna tackle this job real quick. All right, so I got the hood struts now. Man, these things completely change the whole functionality. You know, it's just you just pop up the hood, it goes up by itself. It looks so much cleaner in here. Now, I did run into a little issue, which got me really upset. One of the little studs broke off from the, the hood. Um, so I had to tap in a new screw, but that was my only option. So, but other than that, everything came out pretty good. I mean, this is an 18 year old car, so you're gonna run into little things like that. But now we're gonna move on to the radiator cover. We're gonna take off this OEM one, take off the prop rod, and install the Harple Autofab radiator cover. As for the cover, it just has a couple of these Phillips screw head uh, push pins. Only four of them, one right here, another one, three and four. And this whole thing just simply pops out. So I'm gonna clean the inside with a little rag, take off all that little dirt, and then put on the new ready to cover. So much better, looks clean now. Now I'm about to grab that ready to cover, put it on. Okay, let's see the finished product. Oh my, oh my guys. Just like that, the cover is on. It looks stunning. Super easy to put on. It's got like a little little latch on the back side. You gotta like kind of stick in first and then kind of work your way front. But what once that latch is in, you align it, put in your push pins. That's it. Woo! I love it. Man, look at that red, that torch red Terminator Cobra. That's right. <laughs> 